If I got the email, mm. I got the franchise, mm. I got the IBF, mm. WBO, mm. WBC. W, the, I said that already. WBA, WBA, and the Ring Magazine. Six belts. I said WBO. Yeah, six belts. He, right here next to me, to my right, is the youngest undisputed champion in boxing history, man. Recently, Teofimo Lopez said the zone robbed him to set up a fight between you and Combosis for Undisputed on their platform. Uh, yeah. What's your thoughts on his comments? That's delusion. Nah, no, for real though, like, I, something's gotta be wrong if you think that, because I'm fighting on ESPN top ranked the plat platform that you signed to, so how could they set you up to lose to go sign me for me to go fight? You know, it just makes no sense. But I've been saying something was wrong with him a while ago, but even before he lost to Cambosos, I said he looked like something was wrong. And um, if that's what he feels to make him sleep better at night, if he got to put that in his head that it was all set up, whatever the case may be, so be it. If that's what his team is telling him, so be it. But the world knows there's no way that it was set up. In reality, it wasn't like he got robbed. He really lost. He really lost the fight. So you lost. Combosis definitely dismantled him completely. And like you pointed out, you're fighting on ESPN, the same network he's fighting on, not the zone. So all of this the zone robbery for a setup, when you fight on ESPN, I mean, do you think he's still going to be able to come back mentally and be the same? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know where his mindset is or, or what's going on, what's what the problem is. You know, I heard that he has problems in the fight with um, Combosis as far as like, I don't know if it was his heart or something. I don't really remember exactly what it was. So I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but I wish him nothing but the best. One thing we know about Devin Haney is that you live, breathe, and shit boxing. You got that Floyd Mayo, that hard work and dedication when it comes to the sport of boxing. What was your reaction when you saw Tia from Lopez smoking hookah or stuff like that? Do you think that's where the lung problems come from? What's your take on him just being comfortable after he beat Lomachenko and he was smoking hookah and stuff like that. Yeah, um, at the end of the day, a lot of these guys do different things outside of the ring, and it ain't my business on, on what they do, what what they do, what they don't do. But um, do I feel like he took Cambosis lightly? For sure. I feel like that was the main problem. Whatever he was doing before the fight, it couldn't have been that much of a problem. I just feel like he came out, ran at him, um, thought he was going to knock him out in the first round, took him lightly, and uh, that's, that's how that played out. Combosa's mind games seemed to affect Teofimo Lopez leading up to the fight. He played a lot of mind games with uh, Teofimo Lopez. It seems like he's trying to do the same thing with you. How do you avoid getting annoyed and fighting emotionally instead of intelligently? Honestly, I don't feel like it was the mind games that got to Teo. I think that Teo really didn't respect him, didn't think that he was, you know, nothing spectacular. So that's, I think that's what, what happened more than anything rather than, you know, him getting in his mind. I just feel like Tio felt like he was just, you know, average Joe Blow. But in boxing, you can't take nobody lightly. But he can say what he want to say. Cambosas, I mean, at the end of the day, we get in the ring and, uh, and we gonna fight. And um, I'm gonna do most of my talking inside the ring. It is what it is. He say what he want to say. We'll, we'll see on fight night. Well, you said that you don't believe that it was the mind games. It's just that Tio from Lopez took him lightly. But when Cambosas dropped him in the first round, Shouldn't that have been like a wake-up call? Why couldn't Teofimo, in your opinion, make adjustments after he got dropped like, oh, wow, you know, this guy is the truth. Why do you think he couldn't make adjustments past the point when he got dropped? You think it's just Combosis was just a better guy or what? I just thought he was already too late. You know, once he went in there with that mindset that it was just going to knock him out, that it, he couldn't he couldn't make the adjustments. He wasn't in the ring with a, with a clear mind, you know, able to, to make adjustments and and um, do what he had to do to get the win. He just was fighting on pure emotion. Yeah, I wouldn't say emotion because I don't feel like he was just mentally, like, like mentally he was fucked up, but I just feel like he just, once he went in there, like, oh, I'm gonna knock him out. It just, it was, it was no second gear, which is knockout, 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 knockout. What was your reaction when you heard Teofimo Lopez say the zone robbed him to host the fight with Devin Haney next for Undisputed against George Combosis? When I heard that, it didn't it didn't make sense to me. I hope that uh, Tiafimo can can get his mind right, you know, and get ready to get back in the ring and not look back in the past, but look look forward to recovering and having a, a promising future.
You think he's mentally <laughs> ready for a Josh Taylor fight if the rumors are true, according to Tio Fimo himself, is not even a rumor. That's what Tio said. So you, you think he's mentally ready for that type of fight? Well, I hope he is. Me being a fight fan, I don't like to see fighters go into fights that they're not mentally mentally or physically ready. You know what I mean? So I hope that uh, Tio and his dad get together and get back to uh, where they once were as a confident team and not let the last, the, the past loss affect their uh, moving in the future, you know? So I just wish them well and hope that they uh, can get it together. The eighth fighter in the four belt era to become the undisputed champion of the world. How does that sound? Alhamdulillah, all praise due to Allah. no sore loser. I take my wins like I take my losses. At the end of the day, man, I'm a true champion. I came out here. I did what I had to do. And I went out there and I did what, my best. Yo, I don't care what anybody says, man. I am as well as they come. And watch, this is the takeover, man. We don't stop. We keep coming. Yo, at the end of the day, man, I love you all. I won this fight. Teofimo, you, you believe coming in that no. you were going to be able to end this fight early. You get knocked down in the first round. What was your mindset going back to the corner? I know what it is. I know how these people work. Referee knew I won tonight. Everybody won, knew I won tonight. And I'm just thankful. Did you believe this was a close fight going into those last two rounds? No, I don't. I don't believe it was a close fight at all. I believe that at the end of it all, I score it. I scored 11-2. Well, 11, uh, 10 2 Listen, you got to move up, bro, because <laughs> you're a bit delusional, brother. All right? Listen, I got the belts. I won the fight. I won the clean and clear. Look at your face. But you know what? I give you respect. I came here. I gave you the, the respect in the ring, and I won the fight. I got the belts. Take a look at champ. Move on. We do it again in Australia. A few moments later. I thought I heard him a few times, but that's his game. He likes to run and move, and I'm not going to take away from his life. I've been there before when... Uh, Lopez did that to me, so I'd be a piece of shit if I'd done that to him. But you know, all the best to him is uh, the champion now. From what the judges said, I thought the fight was very close. You know, from uh, what I've been told, I outlanded him, I outpunched him. You know, he saw the fight, so he had a he had a jab, but there wasn't much else. I think he might have landed one or two right hands, but that's about it. There wasn't really nothing else. So I don't feel my body does not feel like like I've been through a twelve round war. Like I was with a Lopez fight because you know, your, we face went through it, rocket, so. your face looks like it. Uh, that's just yeah, a few marks, but if you jumped in there with me too, you'd be the same. <laughs>